this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we have from Tamiya a brand new model, uh, as, far, as far as I know, and yet yet unreleased, of the 148th scale German, German Panzerkampfwagen 38T Offs EF. Uh, this one is... Um, the 148 scale kit obviously in their series and uh, again it is not yet released you probably can maybe get on pre-order status um, it may be available through some of the Japanese uh, sellers direct but uh, as far as I know it's not yet been exported so uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the sides here we've got some markings uh, for um, a second 22nd Panzer Division Eastern Front 1942 uh, and then on the other side uh, that uh, Eastern Front 1942 is still unknown unit, basically saying. So I don't really know a whole lot about this tank, so don't uh, think I'm an expert on it. I'm just going to basically open this up, show you what's inside, what you can expect to see inside a box, and we'll have some photos at the end of some close-up detailed uh, photos of the actual plastic. So Here's the main uh, upper hull and side hull and actually the main hull completely, the bottom hull, the sides holes, and the top hull, um, with missing some front glacis uh, there and so forth. But it uh, looks like a very uh, easy kit to assemble. Um, obviously not seeing a lot, I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously if there was a 135th scale kit, you'd have probably a lower hull that was previously assembled, so you're gonna have to potentially more, put more, a few more pieces together there. But as you can see from the number of pieces or number of sprues here, it's not going to be a very long or complex build, um, which is kind of what we expect from Tamiya. We make, you know, it's not like they're overly hard to put the tanks together. Uh, this kit, it does have um, it looks like uh, plastic tracks in segments, and I'll get to that in a minute, but here's this other piece which has the uh, turret sections which are in halves, the, lo the lower and side turret, and then the top piece is a single piece. Uh, the rear hull, the front glacis uh, that I mentioned, and the rear, an upper rear uh, hull area as well. Um, I believe maybe those are some additional side bolt-on pieces that, or glue-on pieces technically that would go on. Uh, the front mantle looks nice. There's a lot of nice detail in this kit. Of course, if you really want to see these uh, these pieces well, definitely check out the photos at the end of this video because uh, they'll have the best uh, chrome photos. There is a figure uh, included, which includes a torso, I believe, arms and a head. So it is basically just the commander popping out of the tank kind of effect, but that detail looks very nice. And uh, I'm not sure about these headphones, being that it looks like there potentially is plastic between there, which seems like that would be a problem. I probably would have preferred them doing just a head with maybe some kind of separate uh, headphones um, piece that you would put over his head. Uh, but an excellent looking detail on all these pieces, as we would expect from Tamiya. Uh, there is a, some, a small rubber grommet section here for probably some of the Sprocket and Idler uh, drive wheels. Um, not sure why you need them with plastic tracks, but okay. Uh, and again, uh, those same pieces here, uh, the larger road wheels, and uh, these long segments of, of track, which do look like they have some kind of built-in bowing. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that on the camera, but you can kind of see it there. Um, yeah, well, for a second you could see it there, but there is definitely a little bit of bowing there. And then, of course, uh, the, the same piece repeated. Um, I guess the put the get the smaller track links here. You're going to put those together to form the the curved areas that go around the the sprocket, the main drive sprockets, and, and idler wheels. And then, um, yeah, that's probably how that works. All right, so uh, there is a counterweight included in this one. Um, I guess because of the weight of these kits, they tend to want to put a weight in them so they don't they aren't so light they get bounced around when somebody kind of barely touches it, kind of effect. I'm guessing that's the case, to, case anyways. Uh, instructions, so you've got main instructions here which show you recommended tools, paints required, uh, the read before assembly, um, caution, read carefully and fully understand the instructions before commencing assembly. A supervised, supervising adult should also read the, in, the instructions if a child assembles the model. Uh, so here we go through different uh, steps here. They can give some kind of cool tech tips there on how to put best way to put glue on, uh, and how to snip the models from the from the sprues. Uh, but the, you know, it's a pretty straightforward process here. There's um, these 
little things. I'm not sure what those do. Maybe provide structure and rigidity, maybe for the oh, those are for the counterweights. So they're so those pieces go on, and the counterweights go over them. Or counterweights, not really counterweight. The weights go over them. Somebody's going to make a comment. They're not counterweights. They're just weights. Well, yes, I know that. They're, I'm just saying counterweights because that's my brain, and, and I have to live with it. Uh, <laughs> So there's the uh, uh, the detail of the, of the track assembly process. So it is going to be you know easier than doing individual track lengths, obviously, but uh, but still a little bit of assembly there. Um, and uh, they show the all those track pieces going onto the vehicle, obviously, and then the various few other little minor parts: the turret going together, the gun going onto the turret, um, the tow rope or tow cable, I should say. And then the the figure and painting and applying decals. And they always include lately these little reference sheets as well, which uh, does include a uh, identification marking guide or a decal guide, uh, as well as usually paint guides. This one's very limited, obviously, on colors. And then a little section here, basically about the tank, uh, Czech, the Czechoslovakian Czechoslovak army, Czech, Czechoslovak army. Uh, ordered 150 uh, LTVZ38 light tanks developed by domestic manufacturer CKD. So, anyways, all right. Well, uh, let's take a look at the, some of the close-up photo details uh, of these parts, and we'll come back and conclude. Enjoyed the uh, photos and unboxing of this new kit from Tamiya, the German Panzer Kampfwagen 38T OS E slash F. Uh, not slash, slash, yeah, slash. Uh, and uh, we'd like to thank again Tamiya USA for sending us this advanced uh, review copy. Uh, this will be available for a uh, a build review or, or feature if you want to do something like a how I built the model kind of write up or, or just a build review itself of the kit or you could do even a, a feature article on potentially put using it in a diorama setting or how I uh, painted it using X painting technique and so forth so there's lots of options there uh, for people who are interested in doing some online publishing um, we know not everybody is kind of that's their cup of tea, so don't uh, feel pressured into doing anything. But if you feel like it's something you could tackle, you can always email me at publisher at kitmaker.net and we can talk about it. Thanks again for watching the video, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. You can also click like on YouTube or on our website if you liked this video. It helps give uh, feedback and, and so forth. Um, and we'll see you next time on Cracking the Box.